Hi guys, welcome back. Um, we're gonna do a little continuation of Your Life is Scripted Part 3. So this will be the continuation, this will be Part 3. Um, I've gotten some further developments in this idea that our lives are scripted. Uh, and I'd like to share them here. So, you know, you guys may have heard me mention of the term, or of the movie, uh, The Adjustment Bureau. And I do suggest going to watch that. Uh, after this video maybe um because it explains a lot of how these certain timelines come together or these certain manipulations certain adjustments will happen by these uh let's say matrix agents that are designed to keep you within the script right so what when we come into this realm right we are surrounded by these 88 constellations right they're they've been the same 88 constellations for who knows how long, but right, the picture that they give us is of this sun spiraling through space, or rather it's more of a straight line movement, I think. And the the planets are spiraling through through space around it, right? So it's the sun's moving like this, and then the planets are going around it like that. And that's the updated model of our solar system that the scientists have presented, right? So how does that really make sense when we've seen um, these constellations, this, these very same constellations from the beginning mm -hmm. of, let's say, our recorded history even, and before that, because we have structures like, such as the Sphinx uh, in Egypt, which is actually older than the pyramids of Giza, and the Sphinx is meant to represent the age of Leo, again, a constellation that we see in the sky today so they saw it back then too so that means the the sphinx was facing when the sun was rising in leo or something of that effect but it represented the age of leo um so these planets these constellations um and then the numerology surrounding uh, which is based upon these planets is what's running the show here or in a sense is like the mechanism of the matrix designed to reflect the script right now many of you know i do numerology i do astrology readings in which i can outline this for people and i try to tell them hey listen this is how these are the energies that are coming into your script at this time this is where the, the direction of your script and how to better use it to your advantage or better yet how to even detach completely from it so that you are not a player in the play or an actor in the play a player in the game um now what i've noticed is that and people ask me this well hey does that mean we don't have free will in a sense we do we still have free will it's just it's very limited right the actor in the movie may have certain um certain propositions he can make to the director you know they being that they have communication right they can interact with one another where not every single thing is scripted not every single move not every single reaction um maybe in that play maybe in that movie but the way this is run is it's not completely scripted in that regard we have this free will component that is very limited right the illusion of choice is presented to us and we feel like we're making a choice it's very similar to how it's done down here and we look all we have to do is look at the political level and this is outlined in the movie the adjustment bureau as well that people are presented with the illusion of choice blue or red okay <clears throat> and that encompasses the whole spectrum because um everything else is based off of these two dualities in a sense or black or white and <clears throat> If someone is completely unaware of themselves or someone is still at a lower frequency a lower level of consciousness they think they're making all the choices but what is happening is these entities are just manipulating them right um and they're just being fed or led by their ego and their selfish desires okay so once a person starts awakening once they start raising their con consciousness all of a sudden, they stop acting like the character in the play. They start embodying higher aspects of maybe that character, at least. Or they start completely detaching from who they thought they once were, right? This person that was would always react 
negatively no matter what to that same situation no matter how many times it occur this person that had all these desires that want to do all these things and right that's why people can have these spiritual awakenings they call it <clears throat> and then completely shift uh, in terms of personality the danger here though is that what happens is the ego shifts and rather than being a lower let's say vibrational ego it becomes more of a higher vibrational ego which it then sees itself as spiritual and then has to do all these spiritual things rather but that's still a character in the play and that's still discreetly managed by this adjustment bureau right these matrix agents <clears throat> and what can happen is that when people start going too far off their script off their personal story a being people think it'll be god oh god redirected me and put me in this situation and now i have to go through this which sometimes is very true you know sometimes it's a, a source force or source interaction a source intervention in our lives especially uh you know the player characters the people connected to that energy they'll be redirected and put in places of uh higher consciousness let's say but many times it's really a misdirection or an, uh, a manipulation from these astral-like beings, from these creatures that exist in the higher levels of this matrix that are overlapping our physical realm, right? The, the physical illusion is much more easily manipulated from outside of it because it's like a game. It's like, you know, hol a holography. Um, and what happens is these specific agents are assigned to the to specific person to then carefully um, suppress their ability. Sometimes it's it's blunt and very harsh, um, but some, it's more than time, more than often it's a discreet version in which the person doesn't notice what what happened or it just didn't work out the way they thought. Um, and they're like, "Whoa, what what happened there? What could have you know?" why did that just not work out or why did i get into an accident at this time right it uh, all comes back to these implants because they're they're hooked into you and hooked into you potentially past versions of you that you have yet to clear and like i said this is done through uh regressions hypnotic regressions through a lot of personal reflection and work in which uh you know we bring these traumas to light but for example, my case, um, I had a session with Tina and Karen from Quantum Healing. And what showed up was um, a being that looked like the Reaper, right? The Grim Reaper. And when I heard their description, I'm like, oh, that's, you know, the Grim Reaper. That's Saturn, like some Saturn-like entity that's trying to uh, suppress me in some way. And it wasn't necessarily hooked into me, like that being specifically, but you know, whoever it's boss or whatever had assigned it to me and it was overlooking. It was overseeing to make sure that I wasn't doing the work, this, this potentially this work that I uh, had awakened to, right? Because apparently the moment that I decided to start looking for things outside of this matrix, outside of this current system of control is when the being was assigned because, you know, I then became a danger to the system and um very similar to other people but the thing is other people are so implanted are so easily manipulated that they don't always need the agents to come in and you know rearrange their lives in some way because all of a sudden like i said you get in a car accident or some some uh, love bite relationship comes into your life and they're not focused on their work anymore they're completely distracted and you know uh, enveloped by this this toxic emotional situation full of ups and downs right so you have to be very self-aware to notice when oh i was focused on something i was doing something i really enjoyed it and all of a sudden it could have it could even be seemingly good like oh this fantastic job offer came in and yeah it's not really what I'm, i want to do with my life but hey it's good money you know and, and all of a sudden your attention is being pulled away your consciousness split and now there's two two points of focus and that's what i mean about these life scripts 
it's trying to pull you back into that life script into that astrology that numerology that is going to um use it and against you because it's a character it's a false sense of self okay um i just finished watching this really great series 1899 very much to decode i will release a video soon regarding that um check it out before i do so you, you know i don't spoil it for you because i will go into the ending as well it's only eight episodes it's one season on netflix it got canceled do recommend uh, watching that goes into a lot of the simulation ideas and doesn't particularly go into the scripted notion but it does say oh everything is fake and you know everything was kind of supposed to happen it was just a reset a loop of resets and i'll go into that a bit more I'll, I'll decode that but uh yeah if you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you thought about what i said here um this is part three so go watch part one and two to have more context if you haven't already and let me know in the comments uh give it a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time